step and don't mind me i'm baking right now and getting ready tonight me and my boyfriend are going to new york restaurant week we're going to il molino i believe is what it's called it's just an italian restaurant and they have like steak and salmon and all of that good stuff it's like a prefix course menu with a first course second course and a dessert so i'm so excited it's gonna be a lot of fun and yeah so i'm just getting ready for that right now i curled my hair and now i'm doing my makeup and i put on false lashes if you can tell i really never wear false lashes because i find that usually when i do like my mascara and with all of my primer that i do it ends up being enough and being like dramatic enough but i wanted to do something a little bit different tonight and be a little more glam so that is what i'm doing right now if you want to see a tutorial on this then definitely comment down below and give this video a thumbs up because my makeup routine has changed quite a bit since i filmed my college everyday makeup routine so um i'm definitely i think i'm planning on doing that anyways but yeah let me know if you want to see that so i'm so excited to be going out to this nice dinner it'll be super fun i just thought it would be like a fun little vlog and show what we got because restaurant week is really cool so that is the plan for the night and i'm picking out an outfit i'm not really sure like what vibe i want to go with and stuff like that so we'll see what i end up wearing so i just finished getting ready i wiped off my bake i applied a little blush and then i did my current favorite lip combo so i just wanted to talk about that for a second because I never used to be big into lip products, but ever since I found this combo and like what actually works with my skin tone, I have been obsessed just because I have smaller lips, like they're on the smaller side. And I just find that it just makes my teeth look really white. It just complements my skin tone really well. So I just wanted to share that combination. To line my lips, I used the Jessie James Decker Eyeliner by Alexa Perisco Cosmetics. And I love this because it's not too brown, but it also isn't too red or too like nude, if you know what I mean. So I use this to line around my lips and I really just line right on top of the edge, maybe a little bit over them. So I do that and then I alternate between this lip liner and this lip liner. I use this one when I'm doing like a nighttime look and this one is perfect for every day. And this is by Laura Mercier and it's in the shade Plumberry and this is their long wear pencil liner. Here's just a difference. The Laura Mercier is at the bottom. It's a little bit more pinkish red rather than brown. So this is my lip but better color. This is the shade that I wear if I am wearing lip products just during the daytime. And I'll just put this all over and then I'll use my Laneige lip sleeping mask on top just for like a little bit of gloss. I'm obsessed with this lip mask. I use it all day, not just at night and I love it. And then on top of the Jessie James Decker lip liner, Tonight, I used the Maybelline lipstick in Spice for me, number 370. And this is a darker lip color, more on the red side. So I just dot this on in the middle and then I go like this and just like spread it around that way rather than wiping it so it's not super pigmented. So I'll do this and then to top it off, I use the Maybelline lip gloss and this is their collaboration with the influencer Summer McKean and I love this shade. This is in 010 Barefoot and it has this doe foot applicator. And I like using this on top because it just lightens up everything and blends it all together really nicely. So, yeah, so that is my current favorite lip combo. I just wanted to share it because if you're like me and don't really love wearing like lipstick or lip products and you're just sort of getting into it, I think that this is a beautiful combo like for nighttime um, and just adds something to sort of like bring you back to life because I used to just wear like bronzer, no blush and no lipstick and I looked like dead and like very one color. So love this lip combo. And then for earrings, I'm wearing these gold hoops that I got from Macy's and then these are also from Macy's. These are actually baby earrings. I got a lot of questions about these and I got them from like the baby section. And then my dress is by the brand Seek. And it's just this black little dress and it's actually asymmetrical at the bottom. So on one side, it's a little bit higher like that. And then these are the shoes that I'm wearing tonight. They're by the brand Isola. I got them a few years ago and they're just like these wedges with a little gold buckle. 
and um, I believe I got them from Marshalls or my mom got them. She always is at Marshalls picking up like the most random stuff, but yeah. So that is my outfit. I just curled my hair. We're going to leave in about 10 minutes for dinner and I'm so excited. So I can't wait to show you guys. So here's the website when you go to NYC Restaurant Week. And you can search by cuisines, locations, menus, stuff like that. There's all of these places and you can kind of like go through the pictures and then me and Matt take it the next step and look on like Yelp. So here's the place we're going to tonight, Il Molino Prime. And here's the menu. You're probably gonna see the menu when I vlog it anyways, but. I think I'm gonna get the ricotta meatballs, the salmon, and then obviously the flourless chocolate cake because that's my jam. So we're on our way to dinner. Looks so dapper in your suit. And I just brought a sweater because I always end up getting freezing cold in restaurants like all the time. So I'm prepared this time. I'm so excited. Pot of meatballs and Matt, what'd you get? The tuna tartare. This is hands down the best meatball I have ever had in my entire life. Oh my god. It's so good. Matt keeps trading me pieces of his tuna tartare for big bites of my meatball because it's better. 